Hi there, everyone. I'm Newsday Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans out there. You are getting a very pleasant day across the state. We're enjoying a nice mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures are going to be cooler than they were yesterday, but still running slightly above average, topping out in the mid to upper 50s. So that's good news for any outdoor parades or ceremonies that will be going on this afternoon. Here's a look at our hour by hour forecast, where we will start to see more and more clouds filling in, especially as we head towards dinner time. Overnight, we will stay dry until we get to about midnight and then anytime after midnight we are going to see some scattered showers moving in. So suffice to say you will want an umbrella as you head out the door because you won't just need it tomorrow morning, but watch as we head towards midday. We're going to see a lot more yellows and oranges pop up on our radar here, which not only indicate some heavy rain, but may indicate some heavy rain associated with an embedded thunderstorm or two. So yes, if you hear a rumble of thunder, don't be surprised. Now, the good news is it looks like this wet weather is going to move out in time for some Friday night football games, but obviously the grounds are still going to be pretty soggy. So tonight becoming cloudy showers after midnight and then tomorrow it's looking like a pretty wet day. In addition to the fact that we are going to deal with some bouts of heavy rain, it is also going to be pretty windy. We could experience wind gusts ranging anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per hour. Now looking ahead to this weekend, Saturday is going to be mostly dry. We could see a few passing showers Saturday night, but looking dry on Sunday with partly sunny skies and highs in the upper 40s near 50 degrees. And as we take a look at our eight day shoreline forecast, we could see a few showers move in from Monday. Not a huge deal. The day does not look like a complete washout, but you'll notice temperatures do take a little bit of a dip. Highs will only be in the 40s Monday and Tuesday before we return to the 50s Wednesday and Thursday.